Hey, hello, how's it going? Welcome back to another Shark and Sharker video. It's me, Cranberry. Hopefully you're doing well. If you don't know how this series works, basically we go into the dungeon with the intent of making as much money as possible. When we leave, we take all of the cool items that we found and we attempt to sell them on the trade market. I have a little timer going so you can see how long it takes to sell them. And at the end, we see how much money we made. Now, uh, a new hotfix just hit, hotfix number 15. It has changed an insane amount about items in this game for starters. Uh, legacy items are no longer a thing if you didn't know this. A legacy item was what people refer to as an item that had stats that were no longer attainable because of uh, a change to the game. For example, at one point in the game, uh, all, all attribute bonus items could roll as high as plus three. But then they had an update where the highest they could roll afterwards was only one. So you had a bunch of items floating around in the game that had plus three all attribute upgrades on them still. And those were referred to as legacy upgrades or le legacy items, I should say. Uh, that is no longer a thing anymore. Now it seems that from what I can tell at least, if any item has a stat, even, even if the stat you had didn't violate the uh, previous upper limits of that, uh, of that modifier, it seems like even if you just have any stat that is uh, the, shares that modifier, that modifier now gets re-rolled. So, for example here real quick, I had this shield here, and this shield used to have a plus one all attributes upgrade on it, and it got re-rolled to a plus two max health bonus upgrade on it. Um, and I, I, I'm pretty sure, I could check maybe real quick, but I'm pretty sure plus one all attribute upgrades still exist in the game. If we go in here, the trade chat, right, and we, we sort by all attributes... Well, no one's trading one right now, but I assume I assume they still exist somewhere, right? Maybe not. Actually, maybe they're just gone entirely. I don't know. But um, I assume they're still out there somewhere. So it seems like any... I, this had a plus two damage roll on these pants previously. That also probably got changed a little bit. So any item that had those modifiers are now uh, re-rolled to a different buff instead. So for some people, that might have even been better in theory, right? But for, I imagine for most items, they have gotten worse now. If you had them in your in your stash. The other thing is that uh, loot in the dungeon has been increased quite dramatically. I did one run before this run. Uh, I died, unfortunately. But the items I was seeing in the high roller dungeons were crazy as far as the uh, volume. I think I saw six or seven purple items in a single run. Most of which, most of these purple items came from not even like rare like loot containers. Like, just, like, just like the coffins in like one of the rooms with a bunch of skeletons in it. I opened them up and there were, again, like, I think I opened about seven purple items total. It's crazy. Maybe I was just lucky, who knows? Let's hop in here. I imagine we're gonna see a pretty populated high roller uh, lobby here because the one that I was in was actually full capacity. Oh, never mind. we're by ourselves. <laughs> uh, That's interesting. Uh, I imagine it'll fill up though. Because again, the one I just ran did fully fill up. So maybe, maybe that was a freak uh, occurrence. And maybe this one won't fill up, but I imagine it will. So I'm gonna I'm gonna probably cut the video here to when the lobby pops. I'll see you in a little bit. Hey, we're back. Hello. Uh, as you can see, for some reason, very low server population still here. For some reason, I don't know why exactly, but these guys started talking, so I'm gonna hop in here. See what they're talking about. Can you hear me? Hello. Can you hear me? Hi. I I can hear you. Hello. Yeah, he can. Apparently, he can't hear me, which is okay. Or he, you know, Yo. can't hear you but doesn't have a mic. I don't know. Oh, yeah. Oh, maybe he's a streamer because it's got the rogue one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Oh. Maybe not. I don't know. So I think they do. They have streamer mode in this game. I don't know, but it, that wouldn't that wouldn't stop you from seeing his name. Streamer mode is for people who are streaming. That way they don't see like a name that would be like against TOS. <laughs> true. That's true. That's true. That's true. Good luck in there, boys. Okay, well, interesting. We have a TTV in our lobby here with us, which is, uh, you know, maybe a good thing, maybe a bad thing. It's hard to say. A little bit of a wild card there, right? Some people, when they're streaming, they do feel like, you know, teaming up with people, like, makes for good content. Some people think that, you know, murdering people is good content. So who knows? We'll try to keep to ourselves, though. Very small lobby. Very small group here. And we got a very good spawn here as well. Getting the Bass Pro Shop Pyramid right off the bat is really cool, especially if we have we and we do have a zone too. We're gonna make a lot of money this run if we live. I'll tell you that right now, I guarantee it. Oh, we'll get a lot of good stuff. I don't know if we'll make money because who knows how much this stuff is worth is the is the real question, I suppose. 
little bit of lag there. Sworn that was gonna be a, a two shot there. Oh well. The necklace, nice, not too shabby. I'll be honest with that gap in between now and when the recording started. I've kind of already forgotten all the things I talked about before. This should be interesting. Okay, there we go. Sorry, sorry. Anything good on these guys? Not too much. So the Bass Pro Shop is what I refer to as this pyramid. It's also called the Bat Pro Shop. A couple different names for it that everyone in the community uses, I'm sure. We've all decided collectively to call this the Bass Pro Shop. A um, couple things about it, though. You got this one guaranteed big chest in here. However, the arguably, arguably better loot is down in the gamer hole. Which everyone also calls it. We all call it the Gamer Hole as well, which I'll be showing you. Ooh, what is this? New amulet with base true damage on it. Interesting. Oh, a lot of new amulets. Okay, interesting. These were amulets that I... There's a video that uh, Ryan Six Days a Week posted talking about some, some data mined resources. Uh, what is better? You're probably the plus one all. But uh, these amulets, I think, were part of that data mine stuff. So it's cool to see that they're in the game now. Okay, Hound Skull, Double Axe. Uh, probably better there. We'll take that. Take this as well. Okay. So, let me show you the gamer hole. I think is... Is it over here? Yeah, it's over here. Although, I should open this first. Uh, by the way, crazy... Like, you know, two purples in there, pretty crazy. Uh, is that good? I don't know if this is good. We'll take it. We'll take it in case. Maybe for a tank build, that's good. So this is the gamer hole. The entrance to the gamer hole is with this lever here. Right? You go down into the gamer hole. You didn't know about this. Oh, interesting. You got one swipe and then the... I know that they said the animation got changed on the Chris Dagger. You got... Oh, hold on. You got one swipe, then you do the, you do the stab and twist. I don't know if that's better or not. That is an interesting change, though. So the gamer hole here has a royal coffin in it, which is going to hopefully have crazy good loot for us. Also has the big chest as well. It's got a bunch of enemies in here we got to be careful about. I'm trying to only draw one of them at a time here if I can. I think there's at least two, maybe three more of these mummies in here. Okay, interesting. If you land those hits, though, it does really high DPS. Maybe it is better overall. I don't know. Oh, we aggro both of them. Shoot. Although, only one of them's a, uh, an elite, so that's good. Oh. Yeah, that one seems to be stuck on something, it looks like. This is tragic for him. Okay, easy kill here. This is going to be an absurd amount of loot here, I think, just overall. The coffin's going to have a bunch of stuff here, hopefully. Actually, kind of kind of low for a coffin there, I got to say. Not too bad. And then we got the, the lion's head chest here. Which has a pair of shoes for us. Just, just all purples, apparently. <laughs> okay, very cool. Let's put the Chris Dagger back in here. Take the purple rhomble, I think. Just more comfortable with it. Yeah, okay, we're 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 set. We're ready to go now, I think. We have enough we have enough loot. Oh, and we've got what do we got in here? Uh, kinda stinky, kinda stinky. A pretty good set in a spear, it looks like. Let's see if we can fix that, fit that in here somewhere. Hmm. Let's just put this up here, I suppose. Oh my god. I should I need to bring Am I dropping these? I'm just dropping these. Shoot. I need to bring... Hold on. Are any of these bad? Let's see here. 
Well, these are, are terrible, I would say. I'll drop those. Oh, I drop them here, too. Shoot. It's a mess. It's a mess. It's here. That. Yeah, let's see the... Let's see. We'll keep the 10 stack there. That's enough. Okay. Finally, to leave the gamer hole, you must come this way. It's a pretty simple way to get out. It's just you need to kind of come over here and go up the stairs. Uh, but yeah, that's it. Um, crazy how we we loot one room and we're... I need to bring... I need to bring... I, someone mentioned it in the last video and I do it sometimes. Oh, you need to bring uh, money back with you. Well, you. You can't not at this point. Look at all this fucking money that we saw. There's pure, raw, uncut dollar bills in here. So now we just we just be a sneaky little bitch the whole time, I guess. We can open some more boxes in case I don't know. Oh, we get a, a gear upgrade. Nice. Very cool. Now arguably maybe these necklaces are worth less than the ten gold. It is definitely possible. I don't know. God damn it. These old shoes, I mean they're old shoes, they're a pretty bad base item, so I don't think we take it. I'm getting it it the amount of, of rare gear gear you can see in here. In this game now. You don't even need to go to a good room. Just like any room. Just has so much shit for you. It's crazy. Look at my shit. Take this, I suppose. Purple protection potion. You know what? Sure, we can take that. Got a bronze ornate here. Uh, this, this has got to be worth more than some of this shit. Hold on. Honestly, drop the potion. Anything here? There, this is pretty stinky. Okay. Put these here. Take that. And now we there's like no there's like no real reason as a solo player I'd like to go to hell now at this because you can just absolutely fill up on like one single room, and then you're good you're good to go. We should start clearing out ahead here. We're lucky. We can get a portal up in the prison room. Here, sir. Okay, this is not the best spot to fight you, actually, is what I realized. Not too bad, though. You're dead. Very cool. And you can loot on you. Four gold. Okay. Fair, honestly. Pretty fair. Get another skeleton. Oh, a little bit of lag there. Oh, I heard a bat. I heard a bat. Where did I hear the bat? Maybe I didn't hear a bat. Maybe I just heard a zombie die to a, a floor trap. I'm not sure now. Okay, we got a bow boy here. We can lure him a little bit closer, probably. Here we go. Tango here. Easy peasy. I don't know why I'm checking you guys. Oh. Yeah, someone's shooting arrows over there. Think they're friendly? Yeah, they kind of wiggled back. I'm not sure. Oh. Fucking down portals, of course. He's stuck. He's stuck. We could go down. We have so much loot already. Let's see if we, let's hang tight here. You know what? Let's be smart. Let's open one preemptively if we need it as an escape. Son of a bitch. Need blues. Hello, sir. Oh, shoot. You know what? We don't have to go that way. We can go this way. 
We can go this way. Take a peek in here. Take a peek in here. Oh, okay. A little rubber banding there. Tiny bit, nothing too crazy. Okay, I see, I see at least a blue in the main chapel. Uh, hold on. Okay, we can get to this in time, I think, here. Oh, no, you, you're, you want this. You can't have this, though. Sorry to say, you, you cannot have this. Okay, and there we go. Could have gone down. Would have been cool to see the increased loot down, potentially. But, um... Oh, he, this, one, this man wanted to kill me, I think. He was waiting for me to open that portal. He was going to shoot my head off. That's crazy. Anyone else alive still? Yeah, this guy, he's looting way outside the zone here. He's a cleric, though. Oh, and he has a portal. He has a portal. Okay. So he, he knows what he's up to. He knows what he's doing. Okay. And I would love to just kind of perv out on Mr. Goat here. And see what he's doing. Oh, what happened to the streamer? I forgot about the streamer too. Maybe he got out. But look, look, look at this guy. This guy, absolutely fully looted out of his mind here. Everyone's gonna just come into this these runs with nothing, and just come out rich if they escape. It's pretty much like a, a foregone conclusion, which is, I think, not a bad thing for high roller. It's kind of annoying when you go into high roller and you barely pull out enough money. Uh, than what it costs to get in, so it's probably a good thing, but also this gear is probably not worth very much because of how common it's going to be now, so we'll see. We'll see. Let's get into the second part of the video now where I sell all my stuff. Let me open up my, my timer. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Hold on, hold on. There we go. Okay. In theory, we may have to buy some uh, sacks as well because my inventory... Someone mentioned it before. It's messy. I, I know. I'm sorry. <laughs> Like, I, listen, it'd be so hard to clean it out, right? Like, I don't know. I don't know, man. And then it would just get messy again. Ah, whatever. But we need to probably buy some some empty sacks here to put some of this money in. Um. So first off, first off, first order of business here. Let's do it like that. Because we have two sacks in here that are empty. Let's get this all stacked up here. I imagine once we sell some of this stuff off as well, it's going to go pretty nutty. So let's sell... Oh, sorry, wrong, wrong person, wrong person. Yeah, we got we got quite a bit of quite a bit of cash out of this one. Yes, yeah, so that's that's you know, and and the and the you know. Money we had here. We had 90 gold at first. We have, we're pulling out 400 raw gold from this run, which is already, in my opinion, pretty insane. That's, that's, I would go almost as far as to say psych, a psychotic amount of money just to pull out of this run by default, right? Um, I don't think anything got shunted in, but I'm not quite sure. Well, maybe a little bit did. Yeah, there's like one bag that maybe some money got in here. Whatever, who cares? It's fine. Oh, there's a bunch of empty sacks I had in here. I didn't realize. Hold on. We can just put some of this away for now. Editing me will figure out how much we we uh, made at the end here, so I don't have to worry about it too much. So. This is probably... Or maybe this is sellable. I don't know. Plus two all, plus one strength is not bad for a Shadow Mask. We'll consider it. We got so much shit, man. I bet this is actually pretty valuable now, too. God, we got, we pulled out a lot of good items here, huh? These are not worth very much. They're purple, but the modifiers on them are not very relevant. So we're not going to be able to sell these, I don't think. Uh, the boots we might be able to sell. These rugged boots we might be able to sell. This we should be able to sell, I think, as well. The wind locket here should be pretty easy. Beyond that, oh, we can we can vendor the uh, the lantern here too real quick. Hold on. Okay, now that that is all sorted out here, now that that is all handled, hold on, where did, did I lose something? 
Advisable. Here, here are the boots. These boots we, we put in the in the stash there to uh, make room. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we might just vendor the pants. I don't know. At the end, we'll see. But we have a lot of items here to sell. Let's get selling. Let me start the timer. Let's get in there. Okay. So, first order of business, I think, is probably... We have the spear. I mean, the Hound Skull is slightly more kitted for a cleric. Right? With the with the magic damage bonus. Uh, but either way, it's fine. Either way, I imagine it's fine here. So, I'm thinking... I'm thinking we go with this... Let's start it at 200 gold. We'll start at 200 gold for this bad boy. It's pretty good. It's pretty good rolls. And it's blue rarity. But I don't know how much it's worth. I Oh, apparently someone wants it for 200. Okay. You're going to give me 10 coins up to get to 200? Dude, my stash is so fucked, man. I don't think I have room for this. Okay, we'll see. I, it might not let me take the trade. I'll try it. Uh, okay. Slight issue. My stash is too full for coins. <laughs> Do you have any sacks instead? Nah. God damn it. <laughs> Son of a bitch. Okay, so now... <laughs> you know what we do? We never make this mistake again. We real quick... God damn it. We real quick, we go into the treasurer. And I buy some more coin purses. And... Oh, who was the person? I, I don't remember who it was who traded us. I would say we, I would say we could trade them back. But we... I don't know what their name was. God damn it. Okay. No luck. Tragic. Okay, we can come back later. We can come back later. We can go... What do we try to sell? This ring, I bet, sells pretty quickly. Let's try that. Let's look up magic healing. I'm going to start this one off pretty high, I think. That's, that's, that's a pretty good roll there. I'm gonna set this off pretty high, because I, I I wouldn't be shocked to hear that uh, magic healing is a lot harder to get now. Yeah, this person's going like this similar quality ring here, basically, right? And it's going for 400 gold right now. I'm gonna go down to 250, but I'm gonna leave it there for the time being. Warlock in all caps. Oh, look at that. There we go. Man. 250 gold. 250 gold for a one magic healing ring. That's kind of nutty, I feel like. I imagine magic healing has been lowered to a maximum of one across items as well. I wouldn't be shocked to hear that. So that makes sense to me. You got some of these new necklaces as well. I wonder how much this goes for. Let's try, let's try, let's try 150 gold, because plus, like, you know, plus one true physical damage, and then also a spell, a spell casting speed boost. Not super synergistic, but maybe just because it's a new item, is worth quite a bit. People maybe want to, you know, they're trying to, they're trying to snag a frost amulet for their, their YouTube video where they're talking about, uh, you know, the new items being in the game, stuff like that. I wouldn't be shocked to hear. I'll tell you what, not many people are selling it for cheap. Got a 50 and 100 there, but beyond that, most people are trying to get are get, trying to get some pretty big uh, sales off of these. What I'm noticing right now. 700 gold for this, huh? This person asked, it's the same exact amulet. This person, 50 gold. This person, 700. One of you is wrong. One of you does not know what this item is worth, and I don't know which one of you. Maybe both of you. I don't know. But what I do know is that I want to get... 200 gold. Now I'm leaving up the part where it's only three armor. Oh, look at that. There we go. 
Leaving out of that part. But... Hello. Oh, there we go. Thank you. 200 gold? Okay, not too shabby. We're we're making some bank on this video I'm now. I'm, I'm, it's starting to sink in. Just on the jewelry alone, we've made quite a bit of money here. I gotta say. Now this one, it doesn't have the plus one all. We're gonna try to go for 100 gold on this bad boy. It is more armor, though. It is more armor for sure. But, uh... It'll be a lot harder to sell, I imagine. We have we have some more junk we gotta get rid of. Well, you know what? Let's try to go back to the spear. Let's see if we can get this spear sold for 200 real quick. Hold on. <coughs> oh, you also want yours for 200? Okay, so your spear is just better than mine, it looks like. Your spear is just literally mine, but better. Okay. I see how it is. Okay, well, you know, that's fair. That's fair. I, I think it's a shame that I, I couldn't sell it for 200 before. I think going down to 150 is a... Is a honest, honestly, 200 felt a little high. So maybe, maybe, you know... Oh, there we go. This guy is meta. Interesting to hear. Okay. Um... I did ask for 150 of uh, 123. You know what? Get it off my hands. I'll take that. I'll take that. Is, you drive a hard bargain, sir. But I'm willing to accept that just to make this video go faster. <laughs> we don't want to spend a million years here trying to sell this stuff, right? So. The frost angle. I forgot about that, too. Okay. Let's go back. To the jewelry store here. What is a fair price for this amulet? I don't know. I'm going to try 200 gold for a bit. This one... I mean, it's got a, a nice physical damage reduction roll. It's not a, a max roll, but it's not terrible. Um, forgot about these gloves, too. These gloves might be worth quite a bit. Especially to, like... I don't know. Who really wants these? Because you, you want someone who cares about magic power. You want someone who cares about strength. There's really only like two classes that really do that. And it's Cleric and Warlock. Clerics have access to plate gloves. So if you really want armor, you're probably better off going that route. But the innate, the innate plus three strength is pretty good. I don't know. Go to 150 gold on the uh, Frost Amulet here. No, no one wants it. This person... 50 gold for this? God, I gotta make a flipping series, dude. I gotta make a series where I just sit in here and buy shit and sell it for more. Because that's gotta be worth more than 50. Look at that shit. That's crazy. Although I guess, like again, like magic power and like physical damage buffs don't go super well together. So maybe not, actually. Maybe that's actually a lie. Um... Let's try 100 gold. No one's... No one's... I bet... There's Frost Amulet in here. Hold on. I bet we could snag a sick Frost Amulet. Look at this. 90 gold each. That's not that good, actually. That's pretty good. Hmm. Whole bundle, 150 gold here. What is this whole bundle? It is kind of all dog shit, huh? Yeah, it's not that good of a bundle. I gotta, I gotta be honest. Okay, let, let's let's leave here for now because I, I I think we're gonna end up vendoring a lot of this stuff. Maybe we can sell the frost amulet. We'll see how it goes. Let's start getting rid of some of this gear though. Let's go. Let's go with the, with the double axe first. Double axe first. We've got. Plus two true physical damage, plus two physical damage bonus on it. It's a pretty nice roll on a double axe. 
It's it's but the problem is, is that double axes aren't super popular as a weapon. Let's let's sort by double axe. Let's see. Fifty gold for yours. Well, ours is significantly better than yours. Let's start. Let's start a little high. Let's start at four hundred, and we'll work our way down. This is something that I need, to, I need to do more of, I think. Just start way higher than I think it'll sell for, and then just start slowly lowering the price offer by offer till we get someone to actually, uh, you know, try to buy it from us. Especially, I need, oh, oh, what the heck? Someone, does someone want this for 400 gold right now, really? 200 gold? Um, how about we meet in the middle? 300? Cannot do 300 for an axe. Fair. How about 250 then? It's got some pretty nice rolls on it. Take it off your hands for 200. You know, I'll take that. I'll take it for 200, honestly. Better than vendoring it. Who knows how long it'll take this to sell it. I, I, okay. Hold up, okay. Okay. I am holding up. No room. Okay. I can chill till you make room. Trade me again. Oh, get me in two secs. I was, gonna, I, was, I was gonna type him a woo there. Oh no, come back. Sir, please. Pretty please, sir. Apparently everyone, I, I, hey listen, buddy. It happens to the best of us. Don't get me wrong. Do not get me wrong on that one. That is a really nice double axe roll too. Maybe 200's a little too low for it. But again, just double axes aren't very popular. Okay. What the fuck is this? Okay. <laughs> okay, you know, sure. Well, now we got this to deal with. God damn it. Son of a bitch. Okay, now we gotta get rid of a war mall. Why does this keep happening? Well, this hasn't happened in a while, actually. There was that one video a couple weeks ago where it kept happening, where people kept offering us items for stuff, and we ended up with, like, 10 junk necklaces that we just ended up vendoring at the end. But, hey, that's that's more than 200. That's pretty sweet, and apparently he needed to make room, so... You know, good luck to him, I suppose, or whatever. Okay, let's let's sort by war malls now. Hold on. Clerics are going to go sicko mode for these gloves and, and boots, I bet. We'll start high, and we'll keep working. Yo, two gold for these plate boots? <laughs> Obviously a typo of some kind. We'll keep we'll keep slowly going down. Until we land on a price that someone buys it for. Come on. I'm gonna go down to 200, and then I'm gonna hover there for a bit. I think, because I think I think we can get 200 for these. In my heart of hearts, I think we can get 200 for these gloves for a cleric. But we'll see. How, oh, oh, look at that! There we go. Oh no! Do I have enough? Uh, 125. Can you do 150? You can do 150, okay. I can live with 150 for sure. Oh, god damn, it's happening again, isn't it? Hold on. There we go, okay. We made room. We made room, but now there's another issue. We don't have enough space, man. Hold on. Can I... Hold on, real quick. Let me go... God damn. We made bank. Oh my god. We're at least up a thousand gold this video. Holy. Okay, where can I there's gotta be some items in here I can I can you know what I can do? Hold on. God damn can I can I I'm so fucked, man. Hold on. God damn it. 
Okay, let's take these. Okay, we can do that. We can like do some of this too, probably. Right? Do this as well. Okay, the big thing we do here is 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 make room for this shirt to come off, right? Then we can go here and get rid of our shirt. Okay, that's a big move for us here. That's a big move right now. Now that we've done that, we can take this Marauder's outfit, put this here as temporary storage as well. Right? There we go. God, this is fucked. This is fucked. Okay. Um, let's put this on too for the time being as well to make some more space. And let's get let's get back to selling. Jesus, man. Okay. What do we got to sell? What do we got to sell? I forgot about this hat. Yeah, we have a lot of cleric gear, huh? Back to the clerics we go. So let's go, let's go, let's look about let's look at let's look at hound skull prices right now. Oh wait, hold on, I'm, I'm going the wrong way. Hound skull prices, hound skull, hound skull. 50 gold for what appears to oh that's actually a pretty good hound skull roll. Plus two magic power, plus one magic damage bonus. That is not bad. Ours is purple though, which is, you know. As far as other people are concerned, better. Let's do the same strategy. Let's go. Let's go. Three hundred gold, and we'll slowly work our way down. You could argue that this is maybe better for a fighter too, because the move speed is important. The physical healing, I think, does affect second wind, so it gives second wind one bonus heal. It's not that significant, but. You know, maybe, maybe it's, you know, I wouldn't be shocked to find out if physical healing worked her, uh, healing trigger of, of second wind, but I also wouldn't be shocked to hear if it doesn't work at all. I, I, I would assume it's a physical healing move though, but I'm not sure. Anyway, that being said, we'll work this down to 250 gold. We'll even go down as, as low as 150 and if it doesn't sell, we'll try this. Oh, never mind. Apparently... People want this for 250. 225? That's a little short. For you? Hold on, I shoot. For you? Sure. There you go. Alcohola. <laughs> Thank you. They meant to say babe, I assume. You said I'm now Abraham Lincoln, which is pretty interesting. Okay. We're making way more money than I thought we would on this video. This is, I think this is actually, this is maybe the most money we've made in a single video so far. I think previous records were somewhere hovering in the low 1K gold per video. We're, we're way past that and we've still got a bunch more items to sell. We've still got this mask. We've still got, not, wait, oh fuck, I lost my, oh no, here it is. We still have this dagger and this dagger to sell. We still have the necklaces and we still have uh, the boots to sell, which again are pretty good cleric boots. So let's try to sell those next. Here, let's go. Hold on. Get me off. Oh, I'm not on house school anymore. Get me on foot here. Wait, am I? It, oh, wait, no, I'm not on house school. What am I on? I'm on something. Why are you not showing me my shoes? the hell oh maybe i didn't type it before i don't know that was weird maybe i maybe i missed typing the rugged boots part who knows we'll start at 300 we'll once again work our way down here these are not great rolls on your plate boots so they do have the innate three strength which is pretty cool but we have we have i think arguably better ro rolls for like a, a tank uh boot set 250 gold or best offer so what if I offered you 50 gold and that's the best offer, Poppy? Have you considered? Have you considered this, Poppy? Okay. I think next one will go down to 200. I think the next one goes on, goes into 200 here. Oh. Nope. 
and then we'll keep slowly going down still until we get to the correct price. Another 200 out there. Will and resourcefulness. 50 gold for both here. Eh. Kinda stinky. Kinda sus. I also, you know what? We can try to. We can try selling these two barbarians as well. Because barbarians don't have great options for footwear. And this is really good for a tank barbarian set. The magic power isn't worth much, but it's only plus one magic power to begin with. Let's try that. Let's head over to the barbarian camp real quick. This... Little little tip and trick that I learned recently is just copying and pasting the part after you say the the boots. You can do it a little bit faster. You you can't copy the the item. It won't you know paste it. It just pastes the letters and it doesn't actually count. You can do one like something like this, and then you can copy and paste the whatever you're putting afterwards. Make it a lot faster. Fun little fun little uh, t uh, little trick I learned. Your rugged boots are only 80 gold, huh? Not bad. I think ours are better, though. Let's go down to 250. And then we have to, you know, of course, do this, right? Hold on. We have to copy and paste this now. Any luck? Any luck? And we had a lot of momentum there. I feel like we were losing our momentum a bit. Felt like everything was... Oh, look at that. Never mind. We get the momentum back. Hello. Luck with the boots. Not too bad. Not too bad. 250 gold. Dude, it, this is this is a crazy amount of money in a single video. Okay, hold on. What else do we... We have some space in here, so we're not too worried about overflowing. Let's go to the rogues. Let's see how the rogues are feeling about daggers right now. Let's go... Primary weapon. 100 gold for a Chris dagger. Not terrible. Not terrible. Let's start this rondel off at, at 200. And we'll work our way down again. Same idea. It's already pretty, you know, pretty stinky to begin with, I think. Doesn't have very relevant modifiers. Plus one physical power is fine. We could definitely have a better roll on it, so I don't know. We'll see. Like, this is, like, a better weapon than ours, I would say. Mm. Let's see another 200 gold offer out there and then we'll lower down to 150 we'll do a couple 150 offers and then we'll go down to 100 i think and i can't imagine this not selling for 100 gold i think i think 100 gold is like a guarantee i think that's like the, the the floor right now on this rondel dagger but maybe it's i mean it's not, it's not very relevant modifiers i wouldn't pay 100 gold for it but i think people out there would that's my theory at least What is this? Five five rapiers for 180 gold. That's psychotic. That's delusional. The merchant will sell these for 125 for the lot of them. It's 25 gold each. Trying to trying to do a markup on a vendor item that that uh that you can buy an infinite number of times from the vendors. I mean, I understand the logic, but you're not going to get it for a markup. That's 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 psychotic. That's crazy. That's not going to happen. That is uh, insanity, I would say. Personally. 100 gold for your Chris dagger. 
Not a bad Chris Dagger. Oh, oh there we go. 150 gold for my Rondel. Nice. Very cool, very cool. Come on. There we go. There we go. Finally. Getting rid of this bad boy for 100 gold. Spawn killer, 420. Don't hate you. You don't have bags. That's fine. We we Gucci. Usually, usually I prefer people not giving me bags. Oh, oh, an extra silver coin for my trouble. I appreciate that. A tip. Thank you. And just like that, there we go. Now, the only thing we have to sell here, because I think I'm going to keep the Chris Dagger for the future, is the rest of these amulets. One last offer for 50. Maybe someone out there is willing to pay 50 gold for 1.2% physical damage reduction. That's what I'm hoping for. It doesn't look like it, unfortunately. And then let's do, let's do one last offer here. Let's do all four of these. Let's check the vendor price real quick. Hold on. Let me make sure I'm not selling these at a loss real quick. 12. We can just vendor them. We don't have to. We don't have to. We'll get less money. You know what we'll do? Okay, here's what we do. Never mind. Here's what we do. We take these. Put this here. I just vendor the rest of them, honestly. I don't care too much about it. And we'll hang on to the Chris Dagger. And that'll be a... a oh, I forgot about these pants. You think a cleric wants these pants? Real quick, let's try to let's let's just do one attempt at selling these pants. I don't think anyone wants them, but maybe a cleric does. Who knows? Maybe a cleric, because clerics love knowledge. Clerics love knowledge, and they love armor rating, and everyone loves action speed. Let's do the same thing. Let's work these down, one by one. Three hundred gold at first, and then we'll get lower and lower until we sell them. And maybe we just don't even sell them, and that's fine. That's okay. That would not go through there. I don't see my trade offer. Hold on. Please wait two seconds. So it did go through. Okay. Weird. Very peculiar. And now... You go 250 gold. Wow. Okay, you know what? I underestimated these pants. Oh my. Oh, oh. oh okay, okay. Sorry. I, you know, I wouldn't hate 300, but I'll take 250 for these pants too. Wow. What a crazy episode. What a just an insane episode for us today. Would absolutely crush my previous record for most gold made in a single video. Destroyed it. That's insane. Let's vendor off these bad necklaces, I think. Get rid of these. I'm gonna keep this one because I do like it on my on my rogie boy here. We'll get rid of that. And then, you know oh wait, did I get these in the dungeon? I, I will hang on to those two. It's, but it's it's fine. It's whatever. This is from my stash. This is not something that I was holding on to. But anyway. Thanks for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed this video. Editing me can now pull up how much money we made. It's got to be the biggest number we've ever made in one of these videos. So that's pretty cool. And hopefully you enjoyed it. And hopefully I'll see you next time. Crazy buffs. And and I'm, listen, hey, I'm having a great time. High Roller seems a lot more worth it to go into now. I need I need to, you know what? I need to play a normal dungeon so I can see what the, the drop rates are like there too. Because it was, it was across the board drop rates increased. But it was specifically that uh, High Roller really increase that's why i wanted to go there first i'm curious to see what it's like in uh the normal dungeon too though so uh goodbye thanks for watching i'll see you